Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the core tasks involved in designing automated driving systems and we will see how these operations can be integrated for developing adaptive cruise control feature. This is a reference example of highway lane following feature from the automated driving toolbox. We use MATLAB to write the core algorithms and Simulink to integrate and simulate these algorithms as a model. Developing automated driving systems typically involves creating algorithms for perception, planning, and control. These algorithms are then integrated and iteratively tested in a virtual environment with synthetic scenarios for fast, safe, and cost-effective development. A common simulation workflow starts with perception of surrounding environment using sensor models. The automated driving toolbox contains blocks for configuring parameters and acquiring data from camera, radar, and LiDAR sensors. The acquired sensor data is processed using available algorithms for detecting objects including lanes, pedestrians, vehicles, and more. In this example, the vision detector variant block detects lanes and vehicles from camera sensor data. These detections from multiple sensors are then combined using sensor fusion algorithms. The forward vehicle sensor fusion block combines object detections from camera and radar sensors, manages the tracks of moving objects, and eliminates false detections. Based on the object detections, the planning algorithms calculate and alter the ego vehicle's trajectory. A vehicle control system finally enables autonomous vehicles to follow the planned trajectory by specifying lateral and longitudinal decision logic. This subsystem incorporates model predictive control. The controller provides optimal control actions by using an internal vehicle model to predict future behavior based on lane and vehicle detections. Now we need a scenario to simulate the algorithms. You can either choose one of the pre-built scenes or create one yourself. The Driving Scenario Designer app can be used to create, edit, and visualize scenes which include roads, vehicles, and sensors. This is a pre-built scene and its open-loop simulation shows the lead vehicle slowing down and resulting into a collision. The Simulation 3D Scenario subsystem reads the pre-built scene into Simulink and configures the model for 3D simulation. Next, to simulate the effects of control algorithms on a vehicle, we need the dynamic equations of the vehicle. The vehicle dynamics block specifies the dynamics model for the eco vehicle and outputs the vehicle's pose and velocity based on the controller input. The metrics assessment block is used to assess system level behavior. Now, let's test the integration of these algorithms in 3D simulation environment. You can visualize multiple views with overlays during the simulation. The lane and vehicle detections are displayed on top of image frames, while ego vehicle velocity and relative distance metrics can also be plotted in real time. The sensor data and metrics are logged for plotting and analysis post simulation. The bird's eye scope and video show that the ego vehicle successfully detects lanes and vehicles. Additionally, the controller processes the detections to stay in the lane as well as avoid accidents by slowing down when needed. Thus, existing algorithms can be readily integrated and simulated in 3D environment for developing ADAS and automated driving features. You can also simulate other pre-built scenarios with this example. Here is another example which demonstrates how to automate testing the highway lane following feature once integration is complete. You can try these and other reference examples as well as build complex algorithms on top of the examples by installing the automated driving toolbox. For more details, check out the links for the automated driving toolbox product page and reference examples.